What's up, y'all? It's Deidre with One Shot Game. You already know what time it is, and you know how the motto go. Get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to succeed in life. Man, I'm in Sacramento, California, and you know when it rains, it pours. It's raining a lot where I'm at. But anyway, with that equation, the whole world is centered around the art of persuasion. As long as I can get you to believe this is who you need to be and this is who you are, I have conformed you to be what I want you to be for my benefit. At the end of the day, it is very few people that understand the magic in being truly who you want to be for yourself also can play different roles for different situations so just because you're expecting a person to act a certain way with you does not mean they're going to act a certain way with somebody else the art of persuasion is so easy and misguides a lot of people because a lot of people don't truly know who they are or feel comfortable enough to truly be who they want to be because they're trying to, you know, please someone else or make someone else happy to be able to be a life of the party or have a crowd or whatever the case may be. When I think you spend time with yourself, the more you start to understand what you like and understand and the art of persuasion becomes harder for someone to trick you out your spot now this art of persuasion to trick you and have you following a certain thought process in the mind for everyone is easily done worldwide through the internet through tv through court proceedings through the police through celebrities like imagery plays a very big strong impact also verbal depending on how you learn you know a lot of people spend decades centuries really trying to find out who they truly want to be so it's easy to understand and conform to what you see and know a lot of people live in the physical reality of what's in front of them what they see what they know what they grew up in and they tend to follow that same path they don't tend to think that it's any way outside the box so we're just going to not question anything not get no knowledge about nothing not you know do research so we're just going to believe anything that's told to us and it's sad to say but it's really easy when it comes to the internet the only way you will really be able to understand and know what a person is doing in the background of their life is to for them to be able to record every single second of their life. People put on the internet what they want to put on the internet. Now, there is a group of people that also understand that the internet is not real and it's real life in the internet, but it is a lot of people that live their daily lives of waking up, going to work, you feel me? Feeding the kids, doing what they have to do on the internet, and then believe everything that the internet shows them. But the crazy part is you don't even look at your own life and understand that people don't even really know what's going on in your own life unless you tell them. So what makes you think that everything on the internet is real? It's another way to persuade the masses into believing whatever we want them to believe as long as we put it on the main devices that they're using and they look at it every day, the more you start to believe it. So when I was growing up, it was cable and TV. We didn't really have these super cool iPhones until later on in my life. So what you see on TV every day, every commercial is what you start to believe because you're seeing it every day. So now they have a version of where they will get everybody starting from young kids to believe everything that's put on the internet. So always be aware and control and monitor what your kids are watching because sometimes it can influence them to uh, create them same behavior patterns and sometimes not. So it's like, for me, a trajectory of all types of things like you're never one solid person. 
You know what I'm saying? You can go out into the world and like something and not see it in your everyday life. It's just something that you like for yourself. But then you also have people that are easily influenced, easily believe everything they see, easily believe everything they hear because they don't have a solid sense of self. For example, it is a lot of police that uh, patrol lower income neighborhoods for a couple of reasons. Most of the time, we're centered around poverty, welfare, don't graduate school, gang life, uh, hustling, murdering, things like that to provide for ourselves as well as our families. More that I have people uninformed about certain things, the easier it is is to target them and put them in certain positions. So if riding with a group of friends and Carl, you're chilling with these friends, the police pull you all over. The guy who is driving is a known gang member. He's on uh, probation for search and seizure. So they're allowed to search the whole entire vehicle. He doesn't have a gun on him, but you do. Everybody goes to jail for having illegal things inside the car. Not just them two, but everybody. If you don't know that you are not a gang member and you do not have to allow to be searched, then you get in the car or they tell you some certain thing like, we're arresting everybody, putting y'all in handcuffs and everybody's going to jail. If you don't know certain things, they have the power to twist and turn the things that they know to get more people to go to jail to fit their quota of getting people arrested to up their salary, up their pay, or look like the officer that's doing his job. This whole world is based on politics and what people believe to be true for themselves. People in position of power twist words around, get certain things to happen due to people being uninformed or knowledgeable about certain things to help them benefit however they see fit. That is why it's always best to question things. That's why it's always best to get as much as knowledge as you can about a certain situation or else you'll be tricked out your spot all the time. It doesn't matter if you're in the car with a gang member. A police does not have the right to arrest everyone and put everyone in jail. Only that gang member, anybody on probation who's subjected to search and seizure and the car itself. But if you're scared and you've never been in that situation before, all he got to say is everybody's going to jail. You'll be able to call your moms when you get there. Everybody's scared now. They don't know what to do. And they don't have no information about the situation because they've never been in that situation. So now the police wins and you lose. You don't get your first call until after a few hours after you've been in lockup. And then you got to get somebody to either bail you out to get out or they'll hold you for a certain period of time and let you go. During that time, they'll ask you questions. They'll want to know exactly what you guys were doing before you guys got in the car. Who's who and what's what. The only information that they know is based on what everybody knows inside the car. But everybody will talk about it from a different point of view. Otherwise, before they pulled y'all over, they had no knowledge of anything that was going on. But they know how to play different roles and positions and trick you into believing or telling what they want you to tell for their own benefit. It is a lot of laws made up by the government and the judicial system that we don't know about because we have no knowledge of them. So when we get in these police stations or we get pulled over in these cars, we have no knowledge so they trick us because they're in uniform by hitting us below the belt and the gut. And sometimes that subjects us to being in their power of control. And once you're in somebody else's power of control, you have no control. They do it every single day, all the time. It works for them because we have lack of knowledge. The more knowledge you get about certain situations and certain things, the more you can protect yourself. But again, if it's something that you're used to going through in your life, you're used to what you see. You don't feel like it is a need to do further research. 
you don't feel like it is a need to do uh, any read any books to figure out more information on the subject because it becomes something that's so normal to you you just accept whatever consequences that come with it it's crazy it's a crazy world out here and everybody is playing the policy game just because officers are officers doesn't mean they always do things by the book just because judges are judges doesn't mean they always do things by the book just because the president is the president doesn't mean he always does things by the book. Everybody is going to do things the way they see fit for themselves. But the thing is they have grown knowledge in a particular field. So they know how to twist and turn it to fit their circumstances for whatever they want and need. A lot of people in this day and age have the power of words, have the power to persuade people to believe what they want them to believe and they hold the power of being able to uh, adjust and fit whatever position or character they need to fit to convince somebody to believe what they're saying it's a dangerous world it's not a game and I wouldn't play with it the advice I would have for the people out there is just don't get yourself involved in certain situations that you have no knowledge about in a situation that you have no knowledge about so you really can't get out of and they hold the power it's being done all over the world everybody knows how to do it in every situation the more vulnerable you are the more you don't know who you are the easier it is to get tricked into somebody telling you who you are somebody telling you this will give you what you need if you do this and you do that like as you grow up in life you tend to figure out what you like and don't like but if a person has something that you do like to get you to do something you don't like nine times out of ten you end up doing it unless you have strong boundaries within yourself and you stand on your own principles you'll be like you know what now nah, that's cool i'm not rocking with that but if you're searching for the validation of other people to really figure out who you are you'll conform and do things that people think you should be doing to be able to fit the image that they want to have for you in their head when are we going to get tired of playing that game when are we going to truly be ourselves and stand on what we like what we know and who we want to be and that goes for everything and everybody everybody is an individual even if you're were born a twin you're still an individual with your own dna what you like and you're okay with what you like don't let nobody out here in the outside world trick you out your spot the world is supposed to be made of diversity it is supposed to be people that like things that other people don't it's supposed to be different variations of everybody in this world that is how you get the knowledge that you need to be able to grow otherwise you have everybody being the same and you don't really step outside the box because that's what you see every day you start to think that that's cool you, you get what i'm saying you get where i'm going i don't understand how much more I could put it out there to y'all, but I see that a lot of people on New Year's actually were being very aware and very careful, and they weren't driving too under the influence. A lot of people stayed at home for New Year's. You know what I'm saying? So that all the police that were on patrol through the checkpoints, the less people they have to arrest and get, the less their power goes down. They don't like that, so guess what they do? They make alcohol heck of cheap that day, or you know, they lower the risk of certain things so you can go out there and get what they want you to get. So therefore they could be put in position of power. I love to see that a lot of people didn't go out, they stayed home, which is great because we have the ability to believe it's okay to drink a try until you get pulled over. Now you're like, oh shit. It's real out here in these streets. When you become locked up in a cell, in a cage with no voice, Anything that is done and said on your name in these courtrooms or in walls and rooms that you can't hear, you have no control over. None whatsoever. And there are deals, there are things being done, there are things being said, there are opportunities and positions being offered that is going to benefit these people that are subjected to have your fate in their hands. And they're going to do whatever benefits them because you're sitting 
behind the cell. You have no control over nothing. You're not even in the free world. A lot of people in my culture, and again, I'm not racist. I, I have a last standing grandparent who is white. But a lot of people from my culture are known to be in crime, are known to be in prostitution, are known to have mental health issues. And so a lot of times the police do not take these people serious versus Carly who come from a rich family and her family has billions and billions of dollars and they're willing to pay to catch whoever that killed little Carly. Which case you think they gonna take more serious? The people that are known and subjected to crime and put themselves in situations that get killed every day or little Carly over here where her parents got the money because I still got a family to feed even though I'm the police. I'm gonna tweak it and twerk it to fit my situation. It's politics, I don't care who you are. It's just in the positions that you play, you get more knowledge and understanding of that role and you're able to twist it and turn it to fit your situation. We're all just people. We only believe what other people say until we have our own identity and try to search and figure out, is this really the truth or not? Let me think outside the box. Me as a person, am I gonna believe what they're saying or am I gonna get some indication that that ain't cool, let me do my research because some about that is off. Stand in your power, stand in who you are. A lot of us have just conformed to what people want us to be because we are searching for the love inside ourselves and others. When really we need to be looking for it inside ourselves. Don't get tricked out just by, by being misinformed. Don't put yourself in risky situations that you have no knowledge about because it is really easy to get tricked out just by that way. Us as the people have the power or control but if the people higher up know they have the power and control by us not really thinking we were making certain judgment calls, ultimately they win. When you're locked up in a cell, you have no power, you have no control. You're under the control of somebody else. Therefore, everything said, spoke on, done on under your name, you have no control over. You're just a number. Not even your first name, your last name. And everybody, family, friends, relationships, stand on who you are, know who you are. A lot of people are very good at the art of persuasion, the art of believing who I want you to be and the labels I put on you so that you can be what I want you to be to fit what I need. The moment you don't fit what I need, I don't need you anymore. That's the real world. That's what's really going on. But a lot of us don't even know who we are. So we believe everything we see and hear until at some point the light clicks on and we realize this is not what I want. This is not something I stand for. What can I do to change this? <laughs> it's Deidre with One Shot Game, man. And if you don't know, I just told you. Get informed, do your research, get up on your knowledge, stand on who you are. Don't be subjected to do things that you know you ain't cool with. Don't lower your morals, don't lower, lower your values for someone else. Because at some point you are gonna die. And when you die, do you wanna stand for something? Or you wanna be one of those people that fell for anything? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. This is Deidre with One Shot Game.